We are in the middle of May, and that, of course, means the school year is starting to wind down. But for one teacher in Coon Rapids, it also means his career is coming to a close. I'm a little me melancholy about it, you know, because I'm going to miss kids. Are you guys going to miss him? Yes. Yes. Physics class just won't be the same at Coon Rapids High School. A beloved teacher for 31 years, Mr. Tim McLean, is retiring. But the mark he's made on countless students over the years can never be undone. And that's what makes Mr. McLean this week's excellent educator. I'm here to tell you that you have been awarded an excellent educator. Tim McLean doesn't let an ankle injury slow him down. A scooter allows him to buzz around the classroom teaching his students physics, a subject he's been passionate about since he was in school. I had an excellent high school physics teacher that influenced me. Now he's influencing younger generations, including his own children. All three of them grew up to be teachers too. It makes me very proud. Um, I, I feel like they thought, you know, as, as, as my children, um, they had a good upbringing as a result of having a father who was in education, and uh, I think that was part of their influence. But to understand Mr. McLean's love for all of his kids, just look at his walls. They're lined with pictures of students he taught as far back as 30 years ago. I'm not going to lie, kind of date you. <laughs> yes, I know. Kind of just brings back that memory as you look at these and, and uh, remember those former students. Remember all their names? I do not. <laughs> There's one name on the wall he won't forget, Jackie Pollaway, once his student, now his co-worker, teaching just down the hall, who can't imagine Coon Rapids High School without him. I want his room to be retired, kind of like a jersey, because it'll be weird. When I went to school here, now teaching here, it's always been McLean's physics room, and now he's going to be gone. It's going to be sad. Well, as for what he plans to do in retirement, he has three grandchildren, so he hopes to spend time with them. He also would like to kayak, of course, once his ankle sure. heals. So That'll what do you have to do weeks. to get on the wall? Is Just it be one of his students. Okay. It looked, there were a you lot of pictures favorite, up there. Right? Got to suck up a little bit. Maybe that'll apples. help. Maybe that's, that'll right. Help. Yep. that's right. That's yep. right. Well, we know that the school year is winding down, but we still would love to hear about your favorite educator. Please send us your nomination to mornings at WCCO uh, Facebook page or email it to morning at WCCO. Dot com and a really cool day for all those students, Matt, is Physics Day at Valley Fair today. Oh. Nice. So, yeah, Valley Fair is going to be full of uh, physics students. They're going to be riding the rides and also learning about how the physics of all them works. So, that we're hoping sounds, for good weather. Yeah, oh, gorgeous weather for it. That actually sounds super fun.